The sound of rushing water reminds the Gila River Indian community what life was like for their ancestors, a life of peace. But behind this scene of serenity is a subject no one's been willing to talk about until now. She went missing. It's a very, very high crime rate. Stabbed me, you know, beat me so bad. I just feel a lot of sorrow. The members of Gila River are talking about domestic violence. Her husband was beating her all the time. Elmay Allison says the night this woman planned to leave her husband, she was reported missing, and three days later, he came to her office. Did you know that they found her? And she was dead, he said. Elmay sits quietly by the river thinking about this woman she wasn't able to help. But now she's leading the effort to help protect others. The tribe is building a domestic violence shelter. Although it's focusing on women and children, this shelter is touching men as well, especially those who are building it brick by brick. As a project manager, we're not supposed to really get personally involved, but this was really hard not to. Benny Dixon witnessed and was a victim of domestic violence as a child. His father abused his mother and in turn abused him. Fortunately for us, um, you know, my mom was always there to protect us. Kendra John stayed in a marriage for eight and a half years and remembers what it was like. He threatened me if I ever left that he would kill me. In years past, they've driven women up to five hours away for shelter. And it feels so foreign to them that the further we take them for shelter, the quicker they turn around and come back. Come back to a bad situation, but here members of Gila River will know how to help these women while also educating the next generation. But more importantly, teach the kids that that's not the native way of life. In Sacatone, Arizona, Gardenia Coleman, Cronkite News. For 14 years, Fabian Bennett was addicted to methamphetamines. I even learned how to cook it. I was that much in love with the drug that I learned how to cook it and manufacture it to uh, make money. But Fabian has now gone from cooking drugs to cooking up something else. It's like mixing cake batter. <laughs> no, it's not cake. Cucumel and body lotion to be exact. After prison, Fabian completed rehab and volunteered at Just BB, a company almost entirely run by homeless individuals. The goal? To get them back on their feet. So through the use of pure ingredients and attention to detail, the operation has taken off. This group of entrepreneurs is serious about their online and retail sales. And so in a month, we've flown through quite a bit of their product, and that is a good feeling. Victoria Gerard is impressed with the products and staff. Everybody that I have met from their organization, even with internet communication, is passionate and kind. And it's easy to do business with people like that. Fabian loves what he's doing, knowing that all proceeds go back into the program to help the homeless. At this point in my life, I feel like I am a success. Clean and sober for six years, he's gone from selling dope to selling hope. In Phoenix, Gardenia Coleman, Cronkite News. Here at Head Start, they focus on letters, numbers, and colors. But the children come here to participate in a free preschool program that hopes to give them a head start in life. She's learning a lot. I believe it's very important. Important because families here are struggling to make ends meet in a city hit hard by the economy. We found that there was continuing to be a rise in low-income families in the city of Mesa. So we collaborated with the Mesa Public Schools and opened four new classroom sites in Mesa. Four more classrooms serving an additional 130 kids. But the need is still great. Our program is able to serve less than 3% of the families who we know to be eligible for the program. This program is vital because parents are finding themselves unable to pay for preschool, which is where much of learning begins. Because the economy is so bad, my husband's work hours have been cut drastically. We won't be able to pay for preschool. Another benefit? The kids in Head Start also get free lunch, which again takes some pressure off parents. We believe that children need to be healthy to learn. Because we know if children come to our program uh, hungry, they're not going to be in a place where they're ready to learn. For the parents, just knowing that stomachs and minds are being filled leaves them feeling grateful. Thank you for everything, for educating my daughter. In Mesa, Gardenia Coleman, Cronkite News.